Happy Sabbath Church. God has been good to each one of us and he has led our college the past 100 years. And I'm sure all of us are glad to be here. As we celebrate his blessings this week and the coming weeks, I pray that God be with us. Keep the Sabbath holy and worship him today. Who said to his disciples, I am the living way. And if we meekly fall. leading hand. I think God led me throughout my stay here at Spicer. I finished my high school, my college, I completed my master's, and then I started working here. And uh, uh, a role of 27 years I spent on this campus. And at every step of the way, uh, whenever there was a major decision to make, whether it was deciding on, a, on the discipline that I would study or uh, uh, choose from among the very many beautiful girls here to uh, one of them to be my life partner. <laughs> I think I saw God's hand in each uh, step of my way. Um, I came to Spicer in 1990 by one of uh, the ex-student of Spicer uh, called Mr. Ravi who brought me to Spicer. I was told that I would be getting a free education. However, when I came, I had a shock uh, because I was told to pay up. Uh, but then God intervened and uh, he didn't disappoint me, I must say. I, am, uh, I, I was a Hindu and I didn't know anything about Adventist education. I was put up in fourth plan, that is work plan because of which I learned about dignity of labor and I, I was a self-supporting student and I want to thank uh, Adventist Education for giving this opportunity to all the students like me who are self-supporting this work plan which has given me a platform to educate myself at Spicer. Um, just want to ask you, um uh, did you know English when you came to Spicer? Oh, yes. I didn't know a single word of spoken English. Can you believe I am speaking in front of such a big congregation? Can we all say amen to it? Amen. I used to speak English. I can't even imitate now. Otherwise, it would be, you know, uh, uh, not good for this atmosphere. So I was, I learned Sp uh, English here at Spicer. Spicer has taught me and Spicer has given me an identity which I didn't have before. For that, I am forever indebted to Jesus Christ. Which year did you come to Spicer? I came to Spicer in 1971. And... Uh, Graduated in 76. Okay. I saw at least uh, four people uh, among this graduating class right here. That is Dr. Justice uh -huh. and uh, Kenny Cherian. Okay. Franklin David uh -huh. and uh, one more person that is m myself. No, I, I don't know any, uh, anybody else who so just said mention from I know. Right. I, I'm sure if there are any class of 76 members here, um, you, a few of you are around. So please make sure you get together and take a group picture. I think everything was life changing for me because total new culture immersion. I think the sweetest, most precious experience was in the dormitory, old dormitory, in the part called attic underneath the roof. Every night, the small Tamil prayer group, five or six or seven, very humble students and myself, we prayed together for half an hour. It was dark, the lights were switched off, and we just told God's promises from memory, and we prayed to it with each other. Thank you so much. I feel it was Lord's wish to lay me to rest. I'm so weary. I would love, in fact, glad to rest. Though I'll be glad to go on 
if the Lord still has work for me to do. But, but somehow I feel that my work is finished. It's possible, brother, that the Lord will do more for India than you're pleading for it in health and strength. Possibly. Possibly. When W.A. Spicer passed away on October 17, 1952, Spicer College was renamed as Spicer Memorial College in memory of this great missionary. Because he lives, my heart is filled with peace amid a world of fear. And through the blindness of the night, in him I rest secure. Because he lives, because he lives, there is no task so great that I to also pray a lot that we will be faithful to the commission of sharing the good news of salvation to others. May this be our prayer we ask in Jesus name. Well let me introduce the members of our Sabbath school panel and then we will get into our lesson. On my left we have Dr. Yishi Moshkala, Dean of the Seminary at uh, Andrews University, Professor of Old Testament, co-author of this quarter's Sabbath school lessons. So I'm comfortable in this chair because any questions that he cannot answer, that I cannot answer, I will refer to him. And of course, if he cannot answer, we refer it to the president of Andrews University or the president of the general conference, and they will have all the answers. Then we have Dr. Jeremiah over here. Dr. Jeremiah, all of you know, was president of the Metas group of institutions and a scholar in his own right, Dr. Dinpui. Uh, director of the E.G. White Center at Spicer and also professor of New Testament. We have on my right, Dr. Vijayan Charles, a graduate of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences and uh, in private practice now, I believe, uh, coming to us from Maryland. And Dr. Richard Rajaratnam, also coming from Maryland. He is a graduate of Spicer, uh, reformed prankster and uh, uh, member of the Washington Adventist University Board. We want to thank all of you for being over here. All of you know that our lessons this quarter are on the book of Proverbs. And uh, this section that we are studying today begins a new section starting from chap chapter 10 of Proverbs. Um, this section of Proverbs is very much like a museum. You can jump into, into any verse and enjoy. Just like a museum, you go to any part of the museum and enjoy. You don't have to go through systematically. There are departments in the museum. What an awesome scene standing from here, standing here to look at this house of prayer is filled and overflowing and hundreds of people are standing outside. Wish to join our pastor in welcoming all of you for this um, very, very special Sabbath in the life of our great institution. Pastor uh, Paul had um, asked uh, many of you to stand, but I have only one group which I would like to uh, ask you to stand up. All those who have studied as Spicer, if you are here, please stand up for a moment. All those who have studied as Spicer at one time or other, Please stand up. We pray that thou will continue to bless us as we continue to worship thee in this beautiful sanctuary. In praising thy name, the voice is raised. With offerings and tithes, continue to worship thee 
and to hear thy word spoken to the sanctified lips of our world leader. To this end, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. O perfect redemption, the purchase of blood to reading in Swahili Yeshua sura ya 4 mstari wa 4 hadi wa 7 maandiko matakatifu yanasema basi Yeshua akawaita hao watu kumi na wawili aliyokuwa amewaweka tayari tangu hapo katika wana wa Israeli kila kabila mtu mmoja naye Yeshua akawaambia haya piteni nini mtangulie mbele ya sanduku la Bwana Mungu wenu mwende pale katikati ya Yordani mkatwae kila mtu wenu jiwe moja begani mwake kwa kadri ya hesabu ya kabila za wana wa Israeli ili kwamba jambo hili liwe ishara katika yenu kati yenu hapo watoto wenu watakapowauliza nini katika siku zijazo wakisema ni nini maana ya mawe haya ndipo mtakawaambia ni kwa sababu maji ya Yordani yalitindika mbele ya sanduku la agano la Bwana hapo lilipovuka Yordani hayo maji yalitindika na mawe haya yatakuwa ukumbusho kwa wana wa Israeli milele na Mungu abariki neno lake takatifu kwa jina la Yesu. Amina. I will be reading in Tamil. Yosua nangavada adhigaram. Nangavada vasana mudal. Yelavada vasana varai. Appozhudhu Yosua Isravel putraril ovvoru kotrirkum ovvoru varaga aayathapad aayathapadithirundha panirendu perai alaithu அவர்களை நோக்கி நீங்கள் யோர்தானின் மத்தியில் உங்கள் தேவனாகிய கர்த்தரின் பெட்டிக்கு முன்பாக கடந்து போய் உங்களுக்குள்ளே ஒரு அடையாளமாய் இருக்கும்படிக்கு ஈஸ்வரவேல் புத்திரருடைய கோத்திரங்களில் இலக்கத்திற்கு சரியாக உங்களில் ஒவ்வொருவனும் ஒவ்வொரு கல்லை தன் தோளின் மேல் எடுத்துக்கொண்டு போங்கள் நாளை இந்த கற்கள் ஏதேன்று உங்கள் பிள்ளைகள் உங்களை கேட்கும் போது நீங்கள் கர்த்தருடைய உடன்படிக்கை பெட்டிக்கு முன்பாக யோர்தானின் தண்ணீர் பிரிந்து போனதினால் அவைகள் வைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது யோர்தானை கடந்து போகிற போது யோர்தானின் தண்ணீர் பிரிந்து போயிற்று ஆகையால் இந்த கற்கள் ஈஸ்ரவேல் புத்திரருக்கு என்றென்றைக்கும் நினைப்பூட்டும் அடையாளம் என்று சொல்லுங்கள் என்றார் Spicer now will provide people with tertiary and graduate education without a Sabbath problem. So you may face all kinds of troubles and difficulties. Get this last sentence from Patriarchs and Prophets. God will that the passage of Israel over the Jordan should be miraculous. That the mission to tell that Jesus is coming soon and soon and very soon 
will remain as the mission of Spicer Adventist University. You have got this flag in your hand. Lift it up. Lift it up. Oh, everyone, everyone, lift it up. Let the heavens see that we have taken this challenge that Jesus is coming soon. We are going to sing the song. We have this hope that Jesus is going to come soon. Hymn number 214. We'll sing it twice. And all the time, raise this flag and wave it. And I want you to, to request you that this may be a message you will go carry to your homes, to everybody, that Jesus is coming soon. And we made this commitment to tell this message to everybody. I want you to take this as a memento when you go home and make a pledge today that you will pass on this flag to someone who does know Jesus Christ. You will go and tell people that Jesus is coming soon. Please do not throw this flag down. This is a commitment you are making to God that you will carry this flag and tell someone who does not know about Jesus Christ that Christ is coming soon. Dr. Wilson, as the head of the church, as a humble servant, we want to make this commitment to you today that we will always say to the world, Jesus is coming soon. May there ever be the everlasting arms. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance and grant you peace now and forevermore. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in Southern Asia Division has seen three men from Spicer Adventist University to be fit enough to be conferred with this honor. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another. Mrs. Laurentari Kumar. Mr. Tuanga 
comes from the pastor family. Pastor Tankuma, a pioneer, evangelist, and pastor in the remote corner of the border of Mizoram and Myanmar. Seventh-day Adventist was born on December 18, 1973, as the youngest of the five siblings in Manipur, India. Educated all through in Adventist schools and a graduate of Spicer College, joined the mission work in June 2000. Married to A.S. Ellen, daughter of Pastor Dixon Hongyo, in December 2001. The Lord, in His infinite wisdom, rested their daughter A.S. Rinrin in 2006. Now, blessed with two sons, A.S. Gabriel and A.S. Rappel. Members of God's Church, it gives me great joy and pleasure to introduce graduated from Spicer College in 2002 with a major in theology, completed his PhD last year from Philippines, is married to Shirley, they have been blessed with two children, Joanne, eight years old, and Jonathan, five years old. Strong power of God's command, preach the gospel to every man. Strong power from the Lord, spread the good news from this word. Storm doubts and fears prevail, because of Jesus who was there. Stand firm, you faithful man, and carry out the Lord's command. The role of pastor is not the role of rulership, it's the role of servanthood. I read now from Philippians chapter 2. Therefore, if there's any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship in the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing done through selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Continuing in verse 5, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in the appearance of a man, he humbled himself and became, became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross.
here. <coughs> Do this. God has called you to the work of the ministry of the church. And hence the church, having recognized that call, has set you aside by the laying on of hands. You are now invested with full ecclesiastical authority. No higher honor can come to any person, but such honor also involves great responsibility. I charge you, therefore, to minister as a servant.
as Spicer Memorial College enters the area, uh, era of Spicer Adventist University, I have a vision for a graduate. Spicer Adventist University must prepare a core of educated young men and women who will support the work and the mission of Christ with their diet and offerings and lead a lifestyle that reflects the life of Jesus Christ. That for their loving and winsome personality, we will have an influence on their fellow workers so that they will be attracted to the lovely Jesus Christ. That heaven will testify that they are a part of the other sheep have I who are not of this world. God bless you and the family in this endeavor. Asia Pacific International University administration, faculty and staff, uh, we would like to present an urn, which is also called a Benjarong in Thailand, to Dr. Justice Devadas uh, for the 100th year of uh, Spicer Memorial College, former Spicer Memorial College, and now Spicer Adventist University. Thank you, Kuldeep. Thank you, Kuldeep. Thank you very much. It looks like it is a full of diamonds, inside and outside. Thank you very much.
Dr. Wilson is an alumnus, currently the president of East Central India Union. Then is Dr. Nageshwar Rao, the division education director, again alumnus of Spicer. The next one is uh, Mrs. Catherine, once upon a time, Mrs. Kathy Amirdam. I had fondly called her Akka for many, many years. Next one is uh, Mr. Sam Koyalpillai. Mr. Sam Koyalpillai is one of the first graduates in the, in the management department at Spicer. And he has uh, very special projects known as uh, Anand Ashram Hospital, uh, Orphanage and Hospital at Kosovo. Next one is uh, Pastor Cyril Mantero, the president of um, South Central India Union or the Karnataka Union. The next uh, Two people, please be seated here. Pastor Cyril, we have something more to, to, to tell you about. But next is, uh, how do I call these two people? Please, both of you, Rajan and uh, Lily, please come. These uh, are former uh, faculty members. And, uh, you know, once upon a time, this man was my student. That was many years back. So all the goodness on him is, has come from me, or from his teachers. The other one is Dr. Sarian was his teacher. Next is another veteran of our uh, Southern Asia Division, Pastor Johnson Coyle Play, has been uh, into many positions and retired as the Division Treasurer. Here is another veteran of Seventh-day Adventist Church, Pastor V.D. Ohal, had worked into many, many capacities and finally retired as the Vice President of Finances at Spicer. And we had some excellent time together working at Spicer years back and we still remain as friends. This couple is very, very special to me. Many of you know Mr. and Mrs. Arul Das. Uh, I worked with him, I worked under him for many years in my college days. They have really looked after us, me and Esther, when we got married. And they really took the position of our parents to settle us in our life. And very respected people, and I have greater respect. I can talk about him throughout the day. Thank you, Anahaka.
నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ ఫాస్ట్ హిదాయత్ మ్యాస్ హీ ప్లీజ్ కమ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ హీ విస్ ఈస్ అట్ ద కరెంట్లీ ఈస్ ద వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్స్ అట్ ద డివిజన్ ఫాస్ట్ హిదాయత్ మ్యాస్ హీ హెడ్ బీన్ అ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ నార్దర్న్ యూనియన్ అండ్ దోస్ డేస్ ఐ యూస్ టు కాల్ ఇన్ కింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద నార్త్ అండ్ ఈస్ ఫైటింగ్ విత్ మీ టు రీటైన్ ద టైటిల్ స్టిల్ బట్ యట్ బీ ఆనర్ యూ ఫాస్ట్ హిదాయత్ Next is Mr. Uh, uh, Christian Moses, please, please come forward. Uh, Mr. Franklin Moses, I have only met him twice. That's the confusion and thank you very much. Both the times in Andhra, somewhere in the travel. Thank you for being with us. And... Uh, Mrs. Vinita Gaikwad, a former member of our faculty, uh, one of my former students, and he, she works in um, which university now? Kane University in China. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Can we all stand for a moment and give them a standing ovation please Thank you and please be seated We can honor lots and lots of people in fact all of you but the time doesn't permit but we'll see we still have tomorrow and as we go on thank you ladies and gentlemen for being with us pack the remaining books in the carton and secure them tight load them on the truck and remember to cover them with canvas we might be expecting showers later today yes elder lowry sir we're going to miss this place but i'm happy that we can continue our studies in a new location selvam this cotton warehouse was our first school building but i assure you god has greater blessings in store for this school and all its students sir we have made all the necessary arrangements for our travel tomorrow the students are all excited about moving to bangalore however there are some girls in the dormitory who are rather gloomy they are very sad to leave this place it's been 2 years since we have started this training school and you jnana sigamoni along with chinadorai have been among the first teachers you know about the concerns we have had regarding the plague and other diseases there is no wisdom in continuing to conduct the school in such an unhealthy environment it is a mighty challenge to relocate the school within 2 years of its beginning with great faith we commit the school into god's leading chinadorai 
we might be insignificant in the vast expanse of this universe but let me assure you god has etched us in the palm of his hand he has called us all by our names he has designed the school of learning for the ministry in india and even though we might find it difficult to believe now but this school is destined for god's glory fear not for if god is with us who can be against us Why should I feel discouraged? Why should my heart be sad? Why should I feel lonely and long for heaven and home? Since Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he his eyes on the sparrow and i know
this is the year of the lord as we start anew may god go before us and prepare the way may he heal our broken spirits and guide us to paths ordained check, check. for his glory check. and so they moved from coimbatore to a new place check, where check, god check. would lead them resting all cares on the lord check. they moved forward with check, zeal check. and a renewed faith believing that god would prepare the way in front of them healing readying the heart readying their homes for god's service The school started again in Bangalore not before relocating twice and then settling in a place called Krishna Rajapuram in Bangalore Elder Gigi Lowry continued to be the principal 
for another year before he was asked to be the president of the South India Mission. Elder E. M. Milin, O. A. Scow, and L. B. Lose were the principals in the next 20 years. The strength of the school grew many fold. Students from different parts of India and its neighboring countries like Myanmar and Sri Lanka came to study. During this time, much effort was made to make the school self-sustaining. Students learned carpentry, printing, poultry, and dairy farming. They produced enough for the school's needs and also sold to the local community. South India Training School brought glory to God's name throughout the land. You know, in 1934, Mahatma Gandhi also visited the school. He had had previous contact with Seventh-day Adventists, even during his days in South Africa. He was personally acquainted with the principles of the church and frequently voiced his appreciation of the work of the society. Many eminent personalities also visited the school. One of them was the Diwan of Mysore. We just received word, sir. The Diwan and his entourage will be here soon. Good. Mr. Prasad Rao, could you get the garlands and see that the students line up at the entrance to welcome him? He would take a tour of the campus before addressing the school family. All have been arranged, sir. The students are waiting at their respective workstations. The Divan has asked us to show him our industries and farms. He is greatly impressed by the work our students do to contribute to the community. Here comes his entourage. On behalf of the school family here, I take this opportunity to welcome you to our campus. I am Mr. L.B. Lose, and this is my wife, Mrs. Lose. Allow me to take you around the campus to show you our facilities and industries. Respected sir, may I introduce you to Mr. Hennen. He trains students to repair radios. It's an important skill which gives our students handiness for future occupation. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Welcome to our school. I must say, I have heard about your school and its contribution to our community. You educate them not only in academics, but also teach them to be self-reliant. I am also greatly curious to see your poultry farm. I believe poultry farm is the most useful rural industry. Peasants in the Mysore Kingdom will greatly benefit from the techniques developed here. Please come with me to our farms. Ayyo Suresh, did you see it? Are they chicken or what? Why are they so big? Ramesh, I have never seen such big chicken. But my father who just came back from plantations in South Africa said, they have birds as big as men. They call it ostrich. This must be baby ostriches. See? Do they eat this or what? Ha 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 ha. 
This is our poultry farm. We have just imported mammoth bronze turkeys from America. We have 70 fine turkeys and 250 chicken in our farm. We also use the latest technique in farming and are teaching this to our students. I must say how pleased I am with the institute and am struck with the selfless and excellent work carried on by everyone here. May I speak to your students? Thank you. How do you like this school? Do you like the education here? Honorable sir, I am greatly blessed to be here at South India Training School. I come from a very humble family and we did not have enough food let alone money to spare. But I was admitted here and not only have they made it possible to study but also acquired skills that will help me in the future. What will you do after you have finished studying here? I plan to go help others. Just as I have received greatly, I want to share greatly. I want to be selfless like Christ, who did not hold back anything. He has changed my life, and I want to be an instrument to effect a change in others' lives. I will be a friend to others, just as Christ has been mine. Strong!